Hello, welcome to World History Day 10. This is 10B, and I deeply apologize because I forgot to have a prayer on our lecture, recorded lecture, at the beginning of Day 10. So let's pray right now. It's never too late to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the opportunities that you have given us today to learn about ancient Egypt in Africa. Please help us do all the learning that we do to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So, this is day 10, 10B. Uh, the fourth note to write down is that Upper Egypt was actually here, south of Lower Egypt. We talked about that. It was upriver or higher elevation, higher above sea level, land above sea level. And uh, this was considered this region to the first cataract. The first cataract is here, which was a major waterfall. They called this major waterfall. Um, it was difficult to transverse over that, so it kind of united this region separate from other regions. There's your first cataract. The fifth note to write down is that Lower Egypt was considered from the delta, which is where the river kind of fanned out in a triangle shape, and perhaps that's one of the reasons, I don't know, that Egyptians really favored the triangle shape with the pyramids and everything, um, but this triangle shaped delta, which flowed out into the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, that that was the region of Lower Egypt. We have the, the pyramids there, Memphis there. Okay, and I guess nothing to write down on that slide, but it's talking about some considerations. So the land that's closest to the river and the mineral deposits is considered the black land, the really rich land where you could grow a lot. And then the red land does not have as many mineral deposits or access to the floods in the delta of this region that goes towards the Mediterranean Sea. On the next slide, we'll write down note number one, Egyptians ruled by dynasties, which was a single family ruling through generations. So the sons of the a pharaoh who became deceased would be the next ruler, etc. Sometimes the women ruled alongside rule. And for some dates, the old kingdom of Egypt from 2615 BC to 2175 years before Jesus Christ. And then, hey, a <laughs> Um, note B is that the pharaohs were Egyptian rulers who believed in divine right and absolute power. She corresponds to what we know from Old Testament history, because guess which famous person we know had this job? It was Joseph. And here is a quote from Instructions of the Vigés, 2450 B.C., and how those leaders would run. Interesting. Think about Egypt. And letter E is that pyramids were tombs for pharaohs. They were located mainly in Giza, which is on the west bank of the Nile. Note number three to write down is that the Middle Kingdom occurred from 1962 BC, years before Christ, to 1750 years before Christ. The Middle Kingdom, a letter A to write down, is that this was a time of corruption and rebellion. And the Nile did not flood as predictably as before, so there were some food shortages and famine, which you may recall also from our history of Joseph, who pre predicted a time of flooding in Egypt, which would have been 